It was dark, the forest. As much as I can remember, it was very dark. I couldn't see my hands in front of my face. It was pitch black, except for that thing. It illuminated itself and that was it. All alone I was, or so I thought. This creature, I apparently was the only one who could see it in the dark. In the dark, it shined amongst everything else. No one was around for miles and I was looking for my home. While I was wandering home from school, I decided I was going to take a shortcut. The forest is dense, but the edge is beside my house. The other edge, the way I came in, was near my school. It had recently stormed and it was winter time, so there was no doubt it would get dark within 30 minutes after I got out of school tops. About an hour after school, it was as I said before, pitch black. I remained calm, but I had a bad feeling something was watching me. Was it a man? Was it an animal? Was it some type of extraterrestrial? Who knows? I heard a tree limb snap and I quickly moved out of the way. Luckily, I moved out of the way just in time, which saved my life as it seems. I'd say it was at least 30 to 40 pounds and it fell right by where I was standing. Hastily, I started a small sprint towards my house in which I had no sense of direction towards. I was basically stuck, stranded, alone. As hours passed, things started becoming more eerie. I saw a black lighted figure. It was fast. The figure was average size for a human male, but it was more gentle than anything I've ever seen. It looked terrifying as messed up as it sounds. It had dark blood red glowing eyes, which seemed to bulge out of its head slightly. It was very slender, lanky for its size. It had large claw-like hands, and it looked female, as odd as it sounds. If you listened in one place long enough, you could hear its whimpering. It stood still, staring at me. It just sat there, motionless, as I cringed. I was locked up, my body frozen. Suddenly, it snapped into less than six inches of my position, staring at me still. I jumped and I ran for my life. It followed me, and every inch further I had gotten, it was right behind me. At this point, I was lost in the woods. Unknowing of where my home was, I finally ran out of breath and stopped. As it appeared in front of me, it shoved me down to the ground, and I don't remember anything of what happened later. I remember it was morning, and that I woke up in the forest on a tall oak tree that was about... 12 feet in front of me. There was a blood splatter that resembled letters. It almost looked like it said sleep. I shuttered the words. What's that? Immediately noticing that the words, what's that, were engraved into my left arm 